Hi, it's a squad, and in this video, I want to tell you about atrial and ventricular action potentials. So this is what a typical ventricular action potential looks like, and uh, this is what a typical atrial action potential looks like. Now, um, all of this part is pretty much the same, um, but there's some difference. Both use the voltage-gated in a channel to drive this initial increase that's the phase zero and they both have this k that's going to kick out the potassium out of the cell to quickly drop the membrane potential of this cell because here the action potential is past zero volt so getting out of the k is going to drive down the cell to be more negative okay so here's the difference. Difference number one, there is more voltage gated calcium channel here than in here. The voltage gated calcium channel starts to go up a little bit after the voltage gated sodium channel fires. So if here is the trigger for this, then around here, many voltage gated calcium channel fires. Same thing happens for the atrial side, right? voltage gated sodium channel start to fire and uh, around here voltage gated calcium channel is going to open because there's more voltage gated calcium channel here this increase is more powerful than this increase but that's a subtle difference and also because the closing of the voltage gated calcium channel takes time this shoulder is longer than this shoulder. There's more voltage gated calcium channels here to inactivate to eliminate its um, positive contribution. There's less voltage gated calcium channel here to uh, inactivate, leading to quicker phase two. And there's another difference, which is the voltage gated potassium channel in these two. Here we have this intuition of time, right? NA channel opens, calcium channel opens, and later, the voltage gated K channel, the delayed rectifier start to open. But in the atrium, the rectifiers open not here, but a little bit earlier. And because of that, the rectification, which is the effect of the potassium trying to drive down this uh, action potential, gets to complete earlier. And this further contributes to shortening of this shoulder. So in summary, in ventricle, here, NA channel opens, things start to come in, more positive, calcium channel opens a little bit after. And it takes time for the calcium channel to close, and uh, there is going to be more positive influence because of this uh, large amount of calcium channel that's going to be open for a while. Also, a um, little bit later than this uh, dip, the delayed rectifiers open, and they will start to drive down this action potential. Overall, you get this shoulder for atrium same thing na opens calcium opens but there will be less calcium open so there will be less calcium to close that's why this positive influence of calcium is not going to last as long as in the ventricle furthermore the laid rectifiers fire a little bit earlier compared to the ventricle because they fire earlier their influence starts earlier and they get to finish up the fight to drive this volt potential down sooner. And overall, the combination of having less calcium channels to inactivate and sooner uh, kicking in of the potassium channels shortens the phase two of the atrium.